Pak Sarzamin Party PSP Chairman Mustafa Kemal at a press conference in Karachi on Saturday alleged that the establishment called upon his party to form an alliance with the Farooq Sadrild Mudahid Akami movement Pakistan MQMB upon Sadr's request. Kamal's press conference comes as a response to developments following the announcement of his party's alliance with Mudahid Akami movement Pakistan MQMB earlier this week. Explore MQMP, PSP agree to forge political alliance Gamal said Pakistanis were being given the impression that the establishment was behind the political alliance between MQMP and PSP, confirming the speculation, he said the establishment had been calling the PSP to meet MQMP at the request of Sitar for past eight months. Today I want to tell all of Pakistan that, yes, the establishment called us and made us meet Farooq Sitar. When we reached, Sitar was already there and it was on his request that we were called. This did not happen a few hours ago. Sitar and his team have been calling us with help from the establishment for the past eight months, he claimed. This is not a plan that is eight months old, however. It is a plan that started on August 22, 2016, when Farooq Sitar was put in charge, he added. I am not an agent of the establishment. If I was, I would not leave my senatorship in 2013, I will end my party and ask my workers to return home, but I will not be a part of the MQM because the MQM was and still is Altif Hussain's, and will continue to be. Altif Hussain is a traitor and a research and analysis wing agent. If he is working openly for RA, he is not doing any work for his own country, he alleged. He accused the MQM of still being close to the party's founder, saying that they had not once said a word against Hussein throughout the drama that unfolded this past week. An alliance happens between two parties. If I don't believe in the MQM at all, how can I forge an alliance with them? He asked. Kamal said he had been making efforts in numerous parts of Pakistan and around the world in many countries and thousands of people are joining his party. Is it all done by the establishment? He questioned. Kamal said it was his party that had convinced the establishment to release 70 missing Moha here men. Kamal alleged that his party was accused of being establishment-backed, but it was MQMB that was formed at the Rangers headquarters under the supervision of then DG Rangers Gen Bilal Akbar. He alleged that MQMB leaders had been feeding half-lies to the media that Sitar had been kidnapped and later made to address the press conference announcing his party's alliance with PSP. In fact, it was Sitar himself who was requesting the meetings, he said. What have you done for the Moha? Here's addressing Sitar directly, Kamal said the MQMB chief often expresses the concern that his Satter's party's mandate will be split in the 2018 general elections, but questioned why the party has done nothing to improve the socio-economic conditions of Karachi despite already having the mandate given to them by the Moha Hears. What did Moha Hears get in return? He questioned. He said those exploiting the name of Moha Hears for their political goals are in fact the biggest enemies of Moha Hears. Kamal said both MQM and PSP leaders including himself had done politics in the name of Moha Hears for 35 years but the city had had enough of such politics. He said those who are talking about the welfare of all types of people are being termed anti-Moha Hears and asked those using the name of the Moha Hears community what have you done for the Moha Hears. The PSP chief said if he didn't talk about the welfare of all communities, the Mohahirs would get no benefit either. Taking a swipe at Farooq Sitar, Kamal said even if his mother had been alive, he would not have involved her in politics to hide my deeds.